Welcome to the Ultimate Music Theory Basic Rudiments mini-series. In each of the 12 videos, I will be covering one of the concepts from the Basic Rudiments workbook that students often find challenging. You'll be learning a few shortcuts and UMT tips to make teaching these concepts easy. In Lesson 1, you'll learn how to teach landmark notes so students can easily identify the notes on the grand staff, including notes using ledger lines. So let's get started. As you know, ledger lines are short lines used to extend the range of the staff. When we see a note written with five ledger lines, either above or below the staff, how can we identify the notes quickly so we develop good sight reading skills? Here's a UMT tip. For both the line notes and the space notes, in the treble clef and the bass clef, we use the same landmark note pattern of F, A, C, E, and GBD. On page 8 of the Basic Rudiments Workbook, you will see this pattern is used to identify line notes in the treble clef, beginning with three ledger lines below the staff as FACE, GBD, and FACE. By using the same landmark note pattern, we can identify the space notes in the treble clef, beginning with the space note two ledger lines below the staff as GBD, FACE, and GBD, as seen on page 9 in the Basic Rudiments Workbook. This same landmark pattern is used to identify the line notes and space notes in the bass clef as well. By teaching the landmark pattern, students can easily identify the note names. Using the whiteboard, identify middle C on the keyboard. Have your students draw the corresponding lines from the notes on the staff to the keys on the keyboard at the correct pitch. For example, this note is A below middle C. There is only one correct pitch for each note on the staff. Teach this using the stepstone method. Step 1, have students identify the note name. So here we have A. Step 2, draw corresponding lines from the note on the staff to the key on the keyboard at the correct pitch. Step 3, play the note on the keyboard so students can hear and identify the sound of the pitch. Here's middle C and here's A below middle C. Students should use their UMT ruler to draw the lines. The ruler is clear so students can easily see the keyboard, plus using the clear ruler helps students draw ledger lines that are written equal distances apart. On page 15, ledger lines written below the treble clef or above the bass clef are borrowed notes from the alternate clef. Middle C is the only note written using a ledger line that is identified as a note in the treble clef or in the bass clef. This depends on how close it is to either the treble clef or the bass clef. Each note has a specific pitch or sound, and we use the keyboard as a visual aid so we can see the distance between each pitch. Notes can be played at the same pitch but written in the alternate clef. For example, when we see the note written five ledger lines below the treble clef, the pitch is borrowed from the bass clef. The note B can be written on line 2 in the bass clef, or it can be written using five ledger lines below the treble clef. Either way, the pitch is the same sound. The shortcut to identifying ledger line notes between the treble clef and the bass clef is to find middle C first. Then go up or down to identify the note name. As we can see, this B is one octave lower below middle C. When we teach music theory, we are teaching our students to read the language of music and transfer that to sound at the correct pitch. We're teaching them to hear what they see. Here's a fun activity when using the student whiteboard. In the treble clef, when moving from middle C 
up to five ledger lines above the treble clef, the note C appears four times. So play the note C on the keyboard and ask your students to write the note that they hear on the whiteboard at the correct pitch. And then do the same for the four C's in the bass clef. This develops ear training as well as sight reading and shows students the way to score success. In our Basic Rudiments Lesson 1, we learned the shortcut to remembering the notes on the staff with the repetition of the landmark note patterns, GBD and FACE. We also covered ledger lines above and below the staff, as well as notes written at the same pitch in the alternate clef using ledger lines. Here's a UMT tip. When assigning homework, put a happy face in the corner of each page to be completed. Remind students to always use a ruler. Just clip it inside their book and use it as a bookmark. In our next video, Ultimate Music Theory Basic Rudiments Lesson 2, we'll learn the rules about accidentals, where they go, what they do, and why do we need them. Until next time, teach with passion.